Hello Divas and welcome back to my channel today. I'm very happy because I just wanted to get rid of some makeup that I've been having there for such a long time because it's so hard for me to get rid of stuff. But once I see that they don't work for me anymore or if I had just have too much, I just gotta get rid of it. And it's the end of the year, so it is time for me to get rid of some stuff that I truly don't use anymore and I'm ashamed of some of them and <laughs> some of them are really proud because I hit pan on them. Uh, some of them really didn't work. Um, let's just dig into this video and I will show you guys um, some little products that I just gotta get rid of. Um, usually I don't keep a lot of things that I don't uh, like in my collection because just if I don't like it, if I didn't really, if I don't want it in my collection, I just get rid of it. But for some reason, some things I do get attached to um, and some things I've just used too much. But with all that said, <laughs> I'm going to start because I just need to get rid of this stuff. The first thing that I'm going to talk to you about and that this one is the one that is the hardest to get rid of because it's the, the oldest palette in my collection, I would say, is this palette from... Estee Lauder that I've been having for, you can see Estee Lauder so many years. Um, this palette uh, came in one of those Christmas packages that bring a lot of makeup together. And I remember there were two of these and I love the packaging so much. It looks so nice. It used to have the Estee Lauder logo here, but you can no longer see it anymore. You still have it there, but this is such a nice packaging. It looks very like high end. And I mean, <laughs> I've hit pan in some of them. I, you gotta see this. I mean, wait till I show you. It has a mirror here. As you may see on this pan, I hit pan because I used that shade so, so much. It is such a beautiful burgundy, like wine color. And I loved it so much. I use this so much. I also use this kind of grayish one a lot. The soft green, I use it sometimes. Then you used to have a very light um, green one. I'm blue one here, like a baby blue, and that fell off. As you may see, this is a very old palette. It used to have a little um, brush here. Um, I use this white one a lot. I also use this gray one a lot, but mostly I use that shade in there because I truly loved that shade so much and i'm gonna swatch it for you guys um so you guys can see what i'm talking about i love that shade so so much it was like uh every day easy going to work look for me <laughs> and i used it so many times let me swatch it for you guys in my hand my hand is super clean i don't even have lotion in my hand and look how pretty that looks it was such an effortless um, like kind of like a red but not too red color for me so pretty i used this so much but i do believe that sadly because it pains me to get rid of it but it needs to go already it's been here for too many years and i think i just gotta get rid of this beauty but i had a really good use of it <laughs> and i'm proud of that i'm proud of it i loved it and it's gotta go the second product in my collection that I used a lot to and I know I have to get rid of is going to be another one of those Christmas palettes that come in one of those packages uh, from um, this one is from Lancome. Is it? No, this one is also from Estee Lauder. Oh, sorry. I love Estee Lauder. I, that's like one of my go to for whenever i want something to really work and i know it's gonna work perfectly for me because i love their foundation and i love their um concealer their mascara i mean they're not too great with the eyeshadows but they're not that bad either um and this one was actually like really good for like every day and as you may see i hit pan in so many shades it's not even funny uh it also had two of the um blushes i use those a lot too more this one and oh my god 
as you may see, I use all of those shades like every day to go to work. When I used to work in offices, like I had to get ready every day, like around 6.30 to go to the office. And those were like very easy going colors for me to use, very neutral. But unfortunately, uh, I, don't, he, I don't really reach for these anymore. And it has to go as well. It's also pretty old. And uh, I mean, I'm pretty proud that I hit pan on so many of those shades and it has to go as well. It's also been in my collection for a couple of years now and it has to go. So the next item <laughs> that has to go, it's also the NYX 3.0 that um, I use so much too. It pains me to get rid of it, but it has to go already because I don't really reach for this anymore at all. And it is going to be <laughs> this trio from uh, NYX. And I actually love this packaging. As you may see, look at that powder. How much use I got out of that powder. I would just throw it under my um, under eyes. And sometimes just save my, com my complete face. And then I really use this, um, this contour um, shade all over my... Uh, my face as well. I used it so much. Um, this is a very nice um, shade that goes very well with my complexion. And also it has a, um, that's supposed to be a highlighter. But it wasn't so big of a highlighter. So I used to use that one sometimes for go to work as well because it wasn't too out there, you know, for like an everyday look. It's not, it's not so out there. I'm going to show. I'm swatch this one here. But I mean, it's actually pretty decent. Like for an everyday look, it was all right. So I kind of had a, a lot of use of that one as well, but not too much as the other two pans. And I think that one has to go. I must say that I enjoy this one a lot. Um, it was a great use out of it. And also I do love this kind of packaging because as you may see the compact, it's very big very nice look it takes all my space in my hand and you do get a lot of product i mean you can't go wrong and this is like a very cheap um trio that i got i don't even know remember how much i paid for this but it wasn't expensive at all i think it was like eight dollars something like that and this one was really really good and it's about time it needs to hit the road <laughs> it needs to go all right so another um Another one that I had here that I, I honestly got to say I bought this one just because I saw that <laughs> the print on it was a butterfly and I'm like, oh my God, that is so cute. And it was about like four or five dollars. And I got this Ellen Tracy. Um, it's like supposed to be a highlighter. I don't really know. A blush a highlighter, a powder, I don't even know. But I mean, the stamp was so pretty. It used to have like more of a silver on top of the butterfly, but that like went away. And then like when you just swatch it, I'm gonna show you. It is very chalky. You don't see no highlight on it at all. So basically that one, I just gave it to my daughter to play and she's gonna keep it just to, she can use it as a whatever she wants. And as you may see, it's very chalky. Um, that doesn't look like a highlighter at all to me. Unless when you put it on your face. Mm, that one didn't do anything for me. So that one has to go. But I just wanted to show you guys. It's like the same size of this of um, the compact as this one from NYX. Um, actually, the compact I like because it's very big and you get a lot of product out of it. But this one, unfortunately wasn't good so that one also has to go but this one i think i'm gonna give it to my daughter because she has so much product on it still and i mean i'll give it to her she can play with it as maybe like a powder or something whatever she wants another one that i had already given to her but i wanted to include in this video it was this highlighter from la colors that i already have a video that i will link down below this one was from, um, I was ranking all of my highlighters and this one was my my least favorite because basically it doesn't do anything for me. Um, I know that a lot of people like it, but not me. I'm gonna swatch it for you. Very chalky as well, not good for me. And this one, 
as you may see, very chalky, very similar to these. Didn't do anything for me. I didn't like it at all. Doesn't really show it as a highlighter in my face. So that one also has to go. But this one, since it's also so new, I'll give it to my daughter as well so she can play with it and she can just practice. That one is good for her. Um, doesn't have, It doesn't even have so much um, brightness into it. So it's good for her little, beautiful, cute little face. Another one that <laughs> this one, it is Lancome and I've had it for a while too. And this one, I really got a use out of it too as well. As you may see, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that shade right there was everything. I loved that shade. This one was kind of like a more chocolate brown. Uh, the black one, I barely touched it. Uh, this one I did, oh, that bronzy color, so pretty. I got a use out of it so much. This one completely fell out. There's nothing in there anymore. And this one was more maybe of like a blush color, but... I don't remember if I ever used this one. Maybe once or twice. I'm going to swatch it here for you guys as well. So you can see. Mm, kind of a bronzy, peachy kind of blush. I don't really use this one that much. But it's not that bad either. But I do must say that I did get a use of those other shades there. And I mean, this palette has to go as well because I just had a way too much use out of it. So that one has to go as well. I'm done with that one. They have to go. It's the end of the year. So I've added a lot of new palettes this year to my collection. So I don't think I need <laughs> to hang on to those anymore. And it has to go. Another, another palette from Estee Lauder. I know this is like from... A really long time when I wasn't like really buying a lot of stuff and when I had my daughter um, my daughter is eight right now but it was some difficult years because it was tough having two kids and working full-time being a mom and it was hard so I wasn't really buying a lot of makeup in those years so I just stuck to whatever I had in my makeup collection which was very small back then and um, this one is one that I don't know how long I've had it for, but <laughs> it's one of those that the pants are like together and I hate that right now. But back in the day, it just seemed like a really nice, <laughs> cute little palette to get. I mean, I'm laughing because it's funny, but um, it had another one of those little brushes that I don't know why I, they keep on putting those in there and I hate that. But anyways, the, it looks like this from Estee Lauder and... I mean, at least I didn't break this one just a little bit there. I got a pretty decent use out of this one. I used it a couple of times. I'm not going to lie, but not too crazy because uh, I really hate when the pants are all together like that. They kind of confuse you, but I mean, they were they were kind of like in the soft side, soft side of it. This one, very soft as well. This one, I think I used that one a little bit more. But you see, when you swatch them all together, like all of the three colors, I mean, I just hate that so much when they swatch all together like that. <sighs> but they were not so ugly. I mean, I got a pretty decent look out of those, but it is time to go. They were not so great either. They were not so pigmented. Mm. I kind of used it like, I would say maybe like 20 times or less. But something super fast, something super simple. And I mean, this one has to go as well. It's called the Vintage Violet, but it wasn't that good. Anyways, it was never a favorite. I'm holding on to two more products that are less old, but I don't really like them. And I must say, uh, this one is from the ColourPop Frozen 2. As you may see, I have the collection from that Frozen um, collection there. I have the the Anna and the Elsa one. Here's the Anna one. But I really, really enjoy those palettes. But I didn't like the glosses. I will tell you why. 
they were a little thick for me, for my taste. But what killed me the most, what killed killed me, was that little applicator. Oh my God, I hate it so much. It looks like uh, one of those... <laughs> nail polish thingy and i hated it so bad i don't like this applicator at all i'm gonna swatch it i mean the i'm gonna swatch it here in my arm in my hand the gloss is not so bad the product itself it's not so bad but i just hate hate the applicator and i just gave this one to my daughter she's been playing with it as you may see it's almost empty so um, she has it, but I think we got to get rid of that one because it's not that good. That's one of those products that I just used it one time for the video and then I never touched it again. The lipstick though, those were very nice, very, very, very soft, very smooth, very mad. I love the lipsticks, but the glosses, I mean, as, as you may see, is kind of one of those dual chrome one kind of, but... I just don't reach for it because of that stupid applicator and it's horrible. So last but not least, I know that this one has been a favorite for a lot of people. I know that I, maybe I will get a little bit of hate, but I mean, if it doesn't work for me, it doesn't work, period. And it's not like I'm a new to this foundation world. I'm not new like that. I mean, I've been using foundation for many many years and i know what works for me and for my skin and unfortunately this one from elf they did went ahead and send me this one on a uh, it was on this app that i used to do reviews and they sent me this for free influencer in influencer they sent me this one once they um released this product and i must say at first, I was very, very happy with it because then it was like when I used it, it's really, really covering all of my freckles. It's like not complete. It says full coverage, but I mean, it wasn't as good as my other foundations. But then again, I'm like, OK, it's Elf. It's a cheap one, but let's try. Um, at first, it does a good job. But for me personally, I don't like this one just because of the simple fact that I have very dry skin and this one seemed to be very, very oily once I applied over my um, my um, face moisturizer. Usually I use a face moisturizer that works for any foundation that I've ever used and it works perfectly for me. Then that one that I use is the one from Estee Lauder that I've been using that one for many, many years, the cucumber one, and it does wonders for me. But this one, when I tried it with that one, it was very, very oily. I didn't like it. I didn't like it in my skin. I tried it then with some different moisturizers as well, and it was kind of like the same thing once I had it for maybe a couple of hours two or three hours it was just too oily for my skin it was just kind of moving and i hated it so bad it was horrible at the beginning it would just look fresh and nice and then at the end maybe like two or three hours after it was just looking like greasy and like moving in my face and i hated it so that one also has to go for me i don't think i need this in my life right now and i'm sorry if a lot of you guys love it but it just doesn't work for me. Okay, guys. Okay, my diva. So that's it. I don't have a lot of things that I got to get rid of because, I mean, for me, it's very hard to get rid of makeup. But those things really were, like, looking ugly already in my makeup station and in my drawers, whatever. I didn't want it, those in there anymore. So I just had to get rid of it. We are at the end of the year and... Uh, I do want it to keep everything very nice, very neat. Um, usually I like to keep everything very clean and very nice. And those really had to go because I don't use them anymore. I need space for my new products. And that's it for today, my divas. I hope you like this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment and all the good stuff that you would like to do in this youtube channel whatever you like is welcome i love you my divas and i will see you in my next video bye divas Mwah.